Welcome back. School's been rather quiet today because it's freezing cold outside and it's still snowing, but it won't stop us from doing some experiments. Many years ago, a few friends of mine were having a party and they bought one of those large 24 packs of Coca-Cola and something really weird happened when we unpacked it. We noticed that one of the cans was actually empty but completely sealed up. We thought it was really weird and we wondered how a can had got through the system and got sealed and yet there was no drink in it. So what I'd like to do today is to see if we can find a way of working out which of the cans is empty without weighing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop both the cans and see what happens. So if I set the problem to some of my students, how can we find out which can is empty and light and which is the full one, which is heavy, without weighing them? A few of my students come up with the interesting suggestion that what we should do is drop the two cans. And if we drop them, one of them will fall faster than the other one. So let's do an experiment. One of these cans is empty, that one's empty, and the other one's full. And let's see which one hits the ground first. Three, two, one, go. I wonder if you're surprised by that result. So it's always good to see if an experiment is repeatable. So let's repeat the experiment with the two cans and see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Now, I need to prove to you, of course, that that one is the empty one and that one is the full one and there's a huge difference here in how heavy they are but they both fall together. So perhaps that was a trick of some kind so let's try it a slightly different way. I've got two nuts here um, this is a nut off a fairly large bolt and this is a nut off a suspension bridge cable so this is quite a lot heavier than that one. They're made of the same metal but this has got more mass. Ah, if it's got more mass, I wonder what gravity does to it. So here we go, let's drop the two. And what you're really looking out for here is which one hits the ground first and what do you hear as the two objects land? So three, two, one, go. And you notice there that they both hit the ground at the same time. You hear the bang as they hit the floor, and dent the floor slightly at the same time. So, time for an explanation. It is rather counterintuitive that all masses fall at the same rate. So if a heavy thing and a light thing are dropped from the same height, they hit the ground at the same time. We need to know a bit about gravity to explain this. Gravity, of course, is a force, and forces are what cause things to speed up and slow down. Some of you may have heard of Newton's second law. But gravity is very clever. This one's very light, has a low mass, and doesn't contain many atoms, so gravity pulls on it very gently. This one's got a lot of atoms, a lot of mass, so gravity pulls on it very hard. It feels heavier. So if you think about it, the light thing has a small force to speed it up, and it speeds up quite easily because it's light. The heavy one needs a much bigger force to speed it up, and gravity puts a bigger force on it, so a heavy mass with a large force falls at the same rate as a small mass with a low force. It's equivalent to flicking a ping pong ball because it's very light, a small force will make it speed up, and kicking something rather heavier to get it to speed up as well, you need a bigger force. But, I hear you say, what if I do it with a very flat sheet of paper or a very light feather. Surely we won't get the same result. Well, let's try. Three, two, one, go. Well, that clearly gave a different result and we'll have to wait for another video to explain that one. So we dropped the light can from the same height as the heavy can and we dropped them at the same time to make it a fair test and both hit the ground at the same time. So what I thought we'd end with today is, instead of dropping them, let's let them roll down a slope and let's see what happens. Here goes. I'm going to put one can on the slope next to the other one and release them at the same time. And what do you think will happen?
three, two, one, go. I don't know if that's what you would have guessed, but in fact, in this case, it's the light can that got left behind and the heavy one that won the race. We'll need another video to explain that one. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Another time I'll make a video to try and explain why the feather didn't fall quite as rapidly as we thought, but I'll see if I can make it fall just as quickly as any other object. And I'll do another video to try and explain why the two rolling cans came down the slope at different rates. See you next time.